Ava. I'm Ava. And today I'm going to show you guys this really easy, chocolatey, delicious chocolate truffle. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys might be having like New Year's Eve parties or stuff like that. So this is going to be the perfect thing to take. And also some of your New Year's resolutions might be to lose the belly. Um, so this could be your last sweet treat until you hop on that treadmill, okay? I know it's going to be Chevo Hubbo's last treat, okay? Let me show you what you need. <laughs> One package of peanut butter Oreos. Eight ounces semi-sweet chocolate, chopped fine. One eight ounce thing of softened cream cheese. And one cup of heavy whipping cream. Okay, so first what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your Oreos and you can use Nutter Butter if you want. You can use regular uh, Oreos. I just like the peanut butter ones. I like the flavor. Okay, you're going to dump these in here and then we're going to uh, pulse them until they're all crumbled. Okay, so I'm going to do that really quick. Okay, so this is the consistency that you're going to want, like little crumbs, and this would be so good on ice cream. Just crumble up a thing of cookies and put it on your ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so once it's like that, all you're going to do is dump in your softened cream cheese. Now, if you don't have a food processor, I mean, uh, that'll be a lot of work. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to put this back on here. And then do the same thing until it's like almost like a Play-Doh, okay? I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so let's see. See how it's all nice and uh, gooey? Right? Okay, so... Then I'm just going to take it off of here. And then I'm going to take the blade out, of course, because I don't want to cut my fingers. And when the guy at work, a friend of mine at work, gave me this recipe, I said, you got to be freaking kidding me. That is so easy. It's really super duper easy. Okay, so once we get that out of the way so we don't cut our piggies, we're just going to form them in little balls. You can do whatever size you want. And if you have a melon ball or like an ice cream scoop, so you can get uniform size. But I'm just going to do like about that big. And then we're going to put them on our, our uh, wax paper lined cookie sheet. Okay, so we're just going to, I'm going to keep doing that and then I'll show you guys what to do with the chocolate ganache. Fancy! Okay, so I formed my last little Oreo cream cheese ball. I'm just going to slap it on here and then set it aside and I'm going to show you guys how to do the chocolate ganache. Okay, meet you at the stove. Okay, so let me give you guys a rundown on chocolate ganache. All it is is a cup of heavy whipping cream that we're going to dump in here and just bring it to a boil, okay? And then once we do that, we're going to dump it on top of our chocolate that we finely chopped because it's going to have to melt melt the chocolate and that's it see doesn't that sound so cool chocolate ganache but it's simple okay and then I'll show you guys what to do after that okay she, she's coming to a boil make sure you watch it because it happens fast okay so we're gonna dump it on top of our chocolate and then we're just gonna stir that around until all the chocolate is melted see it melting yummy okay here it is it's all nice and smooth all the chocolate is completely melted so now what we're going to do is take our little Oreo cream cheese balls and they're about to go in to, they're going to go for a dip in a chocolate pool. Okay, I'll show you what to do. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to take your first little ball here, dump it in the chocolate and work it around with your fork. Now if you don't have the patience to do this, then you could just pour it over the top. Good job. See, you just... Continue to do that with all of them, and then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, here they are. I went ahead and dipped them all in chocolate, and I sprinkled a little bit of powdered sugar on top. And if you want, you can sprinkle some nuts on there, whatever you want, okay? And this extra chocolate here, you can either put it in a container and 
save it and reheat it later, put on ice cream, or uh, your little helper can take care of that for you, okay? So I'm going to pop these in the freezer for a couple minutes or a little while, and then I'm going to eat one, and you guys can watch me eat one. Yay! Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, they're ready to eat. Now I'm going to try one of these for you guys. And I hope you guys try this recipe. It's super easy, delicious, and you won't regret it. Whoops. Pieces. Okay, here we go. So good. You guys are going to love it. I hope you guys have a wonderful new year. Yes. And <laughs> yes. we want to try it. Go ahead, eat one. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful new year. And I say, forget about the black eyed peas for good luck. Eat some of these. <laughs> Bye. See you next time. Eat it. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Oh, me chocolate.